Hey friends, this is Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And today I am making beef barley stew in my Dutch oven. And you wanted to see me make it, so here we go. So here's what you're going to need. This stew will make enough for two to three people, unless your husband loves it like mine does and eats enough for two people. I have three medium-sized potatoes, two large carrots, and two small to medium onions. I have barley. I have uh, organic beef broth, stew beef, and some organic unbleached flour with some salt and pepper in there for dredging our meat. Let's get started. Let's get our Dutch oven on. Throw in a knob of butter and get that heat. I'll be really grateful when Howie takes this microwave back downstairs. I know I needed it when I was sick and it was helpful, but seriously, it's just a pain in my butt and in my way. Now, I cut most of this stew meat up when I cut it up from that um, inside round roast. I cut most of it up into bite-sized pieces, but still, I like them a little bit smaller. We're gonna just cut these up. You can hear our butter sizzling. Now, let's get this over here and throw our, we got our butter nice and hot and bubbling. You can use bacon grease, lard, whatever you want. You do you. And I'm just going to throw all this dredged meat into this almost burnt butter, which gives it a whole different flavor all its own. We're just going to brown this up. Now I'm going to set my oven at 300 degrees. Now you can do this on the stove top if you want, but if you do it in the oven at 300 degrees, you really don't have you really don't have to uh, stir it as much. Okay, now while that's browning, let's work on our veg. Now, as you all know, carrots don't cook as fast as potatoes, so we're going to cut these ones up fairly small. Whoever gave me the idea of holding on to the hinge saved me some money because I have broken so many of these. I'm going to stir the meat. Turn it right down now. It's all brown and beautiful. Now you can do this in the slow cooker. You just have to brown your meat and everything ahead of time and then do it in the slow cooker in the morning. That's a lot of carrots. I'm gonna put these in the bowl. And let's start. I'm gonna do the potatoes and the onions in bigger bites because they cook faster than the carrots. Okay. This is all nice and brown. Now we're going to throw in all our veg, potatoes, and our carrots. And I'm going to add, you do you, but oh, God. I'm just going to add maybe a half a cup of barley. Yeah, about a half a cup. And in goes. Half a carton of beef broth. I'm going to save the other half for other projects. Maybe some gravy later this week. Okay, I forgot to add the other potatoes in. All right, don't worry if it doesn't look like there's a lot of juice. The vegetables are going to give off juice. And the flour and the butter is hopefully going to thicken into a beautiful gravy. We can all tell Papa I peppered it. And I salted it. So I know I seasoned the flour, but let's just throw in a little bit of garlic. This is going to be amazing stew. All right, into the oven at 300 degrees. This goes 
for a couple hours. All right. Ooh. Let's have a look at our stew. I stirred it once. And Papa's going to be home in about 15 minutes. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that amazing bounty. So I'm going to shut the oven off. And we're just going to let this sit here. And when Papa comes home, I am going to serve some of that up with a nice slice of bread. Alrighty. Papa is home and starving. So let's dish him up a bowl of this amazing stew. As my niece Amanda would say, stew! All right, I'm going to pepper this. Put aside a piece of bread and butter. And we'll see you at the table. This is beef barley stew. And I made it not in the crock pot. Not and it was all of fresh ingredients. Fresh or frozen ingredients, nothing dehydrated. It's just stew. Mm. Just what I needed. Just what you needed. Thank you, baby. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Whether you use dehydrated ingredients, a crock pot, or a Dutch oven, or fresh ingredients, Stew, some days, that's just what you need. Take care, God bless.